Hi, I'm going to show you how to use the Texas Instruments calculator to find the mean um, and then we'll look at some other features of the calculator like standard deviation and uh, these calculator tips are found in chapter 3 of your statistics textbook. I'm just going to do a short example. I'm going to calculate the mean of these numbers here. Okay, so I have the number 1 repeating two times and then my data goes up to the value 12.5. So if you want to write these numbers down and try this with me, um, if you're having trouble with your calculator, okay? Okay, so the first step is to make sure that your calculator is in stat mode. And so right now, um, it doesn't say stat on my home screen. So to get it in stat mode, then I need to press the second, and I need to press the data key. Okay, so I'm going to press that yellow button, the second, and then the data key. So when I press second data, I can see that I have an option of one var or two var. And for right now, we want to underline one var. So we go ahead and leave it there, and then we press the equals button down at the bottom of the screen. So now it's back to the home screen, and I can see that it says stat. So I'm in stat mode now. If you have done, if you're doing homework and you're working out lots of problems, then what you want to do is clear any data from the previous problem. So I just want to mention that step, and to clear data, you're going to press the second data key again, and then you're going to use your right arrow, an arrow over past the one bar and two bar. So I press right, press right, and then clear data, press enter. Okay, so that's cleared any data that I might have already entered. Now let's get ready to enter our numbers in. So the, the number, or the button that I want to press is just the data. I don't hit the shift key again. So just go to data and type that. And automatically it says x1 equals. So I'm going to type in the number one. That was my first number. And don't press enter, press the down arrow. Okay, so hit your down arrow. And now it automatically gives me a default frequency of 1. And since the number 1 repeated two times, I can press 2 so that I don't have to enter it again. You know, so if you have like the, a number that repeats 20 times and you don't want to type it 20 times, you can, you can select your frequency. So now I press the down arrow and this is going to get me to x2. So my second number was 2, so I press 2, okay, and then hit the down arrow. So hit my down arrow. Frequency. So it's going to come up with frequency again as 1, so just hit the down arrow again. So you only want to type your numbers in on the x's. x3 was 3, down twice. So you're hitting the down arrow twice. Fourth number was 5, down twice. Now I'm on x5, so my next number is 6, down twice. And then I have 7, down twice, 9, down twice, and 12.5. Okay, so when you are done with your last number, what you can do is you want to immediately get the calculations. And so that comes from this stat var button that's next to data. So we want to press the stat var button and it says calculate and then it's the first option is N. It says that there were nine total numbers in my list. So hit your right arrow button. This is the mean X bar. 5.166 is the mean. Hit the right arrow again. This is the standard deviation. So that when on the test, when I ask you for standard deviation, that's the SX. You can keep going to the right. It gives you the sum of all the numbers. X is 46.5. It gives you the sum of the squares. So there's quite a few options there. We don't use all of them. But that's how you calculate the mean and standard deviation using your Texas Instruments calculator. Um, again, you don't have to use a formula, especially for standard deviation. That formula is definitely kind of difficult to use.